Welcome to the Daily Word verse by verse. Grab your Bibles and follow along as we study the book of Revelation. Keep in mind, I am using the Holman Christian Standard Bible, so if you're using a different translation, the read is different, but the message is the same. We're going to pick it up in chapter 19. Now, we've been uh, really, this is the time where Jesus closes out the seven year tribulation period. He has executed judgment during, for the previous seven years. And now he, he is, what John is going to give us a picture of is his return. Now in the last video, I did a little excursion and went back to just get a portion, a snapshot from the prophecies of Ezekiel and the prophecies of Zechariah. And what we saw with that was one, Jesus gathering the armies, okay, to fight. And if you remember in chapter 12, we saw Satan spewing out of his mouth a massive army to try to conquer Israel. The earth opened up his mouth and swallow. We also know that there's um, these doing these judgments that Jesus rains hailstone, the great earthquake. We saw that in the prophecy. That's why I wanted to go back and just get a snapshot of the Old Testament prophecies, how consistent they are. And so as John, in a sense, giving the last revelation that sort of closes out the book, we see that they are consistent. The prophecies are consistent. That this seven-year tribulation period will be a time where Jesus is judging the kingdoms of the world, the people of the world, the systems of the world and then he will physically come back and he will set up an earthly kingdom for a thousand years now right now this is where we are with his intimate return um, now I said um, the marriage lamb one of the kind of misconceptions um, um, one of the I think misunderstanding of <laughs> uh, what the second coming is or the um, rapture of the church. There's a difference between the rapture of the church and the um, um, second coming of Jesus Christ. And there are people of goodwill who, who would disagree. Uh, there's some people that don't believe in the rapture of the church. I'm not going to really delve into the argument deep. I did do a video where I kind of list some reasons um, coming out of Second Thessalonians. Um, but um, there is another misconception that the rapture is going to happen and we're going to be in heaven for a seven year wedding feast. And I'm saying that, that that's not what the scripture um, kind of unveiled either. We don't know what's going to happen with the rapture. I do believe the rapture is going to happen before the tribulation period. But we don't know what's going to go on. Now Partly, I think it's a misunderstanding of what the wedding of the Lamb is. And we're yet going to talk about that in chapters 21. So kind of hold on to there. So the idea here is, um, verse 11, he says, And I saw heaven open, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and he judges and, make it war, make, and makes war in righteousness. His eyes were like a fiery flame, and many crowns were on his head. And he had a name written that no one knows except himself. And he wore a robe stained with blood, and his name is the Word of God. And the armies that were in heaven and followed him on white horses were in pure white linen. A sharp sword came from his mouth, so that he makes, that he may strike the nations with it. And he will shepherd them with an iron scepter. And he also tramples the winepress of the fierce anger of God, the Almighty. Now remember, he was, Jesus is the one who was administering these judgments against this earth during this seven-year period. A sharp edge comes from his mouth so that he strikes the nations with it. He will shepherd them with an iron scepter. And he will trample the winepress of the fierce anger of God Almighty. And he... And he had the name written on his robe and on his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, again, one of the reasons why I went back to this uh, scripture. 
um, the prophecy that Ezekiel and Zechariah was to show, okay, this coming of Jesus, executing judgment, and also remember in the beginning I said he's evicting man from the earth and he's going to establish an earthly kingdom, okay, forever and ever. So this is what's going on here. Verse 16, and he had a name written on his robe and on his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds flying overhead, Come gather together the, for the great supper of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of commanders, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses and their riders, and the flesh of every one, both free and slave, small and great. Now, one of the most, again, amazing things that the man of beats at the time would think he must be so arrogant that they think he's going to fight against God and God is just going to smite him with the word of his mouth. And all of these massive dead bodies. Now, if you remember, I said in Ezekiel, he prophesied that. In fact, it's been seven months burying the bones of this great slaughter. The birds would eat, gorge themselves of these dead bodies. Jesus is going to Again, just speaking there. And we saw in Zechariah, he says, the plague that God would smite them with, that their eyes, their flesh would just rot. Now, some people kind of think maybe that's a nuclear war. It's greater than that because Jesus is the one who's directing it. Um, now, he says, verse 19, Then I saw the beasts, the kingdom of the earth, and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider of the horse and on his army. Now note the army who, and the question, who is the army following riding with Jesus? Us, the righteous, okay? So we're going to be there returning with Jesus to rule and reign with Jesus. Now this is interesting, verse 20 says, But the beast was taken prisoner, along with him the false prophet, who performed signs in his presence, he deceives those who accept the mark of the beast and those who worship his image and with his signs. Both of them were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword that came from the mouth of the rider of the horse, and all of the birds were filled with their flesh. So this is kind of interesting that when we think about Satan, by the way, excuse me, Satan doesn't have a judgment where he's going to stand before God. Now, as I said, Satan is fulfilling God's purpose. And if you kind of notice right here, Satan is not judged. So in all of this, Satan is going to be the last one to be judged. We're going to see him later because God is not through with him yet. And again, in and of itself, that's a mystery, a wondrous mystery, like, you know. But notice the but, but Satan will not have a judgment. His, his, his fate is already sealed. And so is the beast and the false prophet. That um, their fate is sealed as well. They're just going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Now again, when we get into chapter 20, we're going we're gonna to discuss this lake of fire because the lake of fire is way different than hell. Okay? And, um, um, but they're just going to go straight to the lake of fire. I would say straight to hell, but that would be inaccurate. But, uh, but they're not going to pass go. That's how wicked these men are. And keep in mind, their wickedness, their fierce anger, hatred towards God is not blind. It's not deception. It is someone that they choose to be. And notice, they embrace Satan who gives them this power. Some people call it the trinity of evil. But God deals with it as the pure evil that it is. And they go straight for the lake of fire. So this picture we see of this battle, which even if we wanted to call it this, because it's really not a battle. God is just going to speak and boom, they're gone. They're destroyed. They're dead. <laughs> Okay, 
Um, so at this point where we are now, Jesus has evicted the world's systems. He evicted the evil people of the world. And now he's going to rule and reign for a thousand years. And we'll study that next in chapter 20. I'll see you then.